Hello. In this video, I would like to talk about the, the adjective clause. And specifically, I want to talk about using the adjective clause as a way to focus your writing and to make your writing less choppy and less repetitive. OK, so let's um, first read these sentences aloud. The doctor examined the client the doctor recommended the client be admitted immediately. Now that sounds kind of choppy and a bit repetitive. Now you can make it less repetitive by using a pronoun. You could say the doctor examined the client. She recommended the client be admitted immediately. But still it's a little bit choppy and there's no focus. Like which is, is it really important enough to say the doctor examined the client or is the real focus, she re recommended the client be admitted immediately. So let me introduce what an adjective clause is. An adjective clause describes a noun. It always includes a subject and a verb and usually begins with a relative pronoun and the relative pronoun can take the place of the subject. So there are two different patterns. One would be uh, where there's a relative pronoun followed by the verb. So the client that was interviewed is in the rating room. You can also have a relative pronoun plus the subject and the verb. So the client that she interviewed is in the waiting room. So here you have the relative pronoun and the subject. Let's look at the punctuation of these adjective clauses. And as I read these sentences, I want you to notice the differences in punctuation and also in my intonation pattern, all right? So the doctor who examined the client recommended he be admitted immediately. The doctor that examined the client recommended he be admitted immediately. Dr. Wong, who examined the client, recommended he be admitted immediately. Did you notice a difference in the third one here? Um, my intonation was different because there were two commas, one before and after the adjective clause. So let's first look at the first two examples. Um, the relative clauses in the first two sentences give information that's essential for identifying the, the noun that's being described. So the doctor, which doctor? Oh, the doctor who re examined the client. So um, the adjective clause explains who the doctor is. And in this case, the doctor who recommended he be admitted immediately was the one who examined the client. Um, essential clauses, so the first two here are essential clauses. Essential clauses are not separated from the main clause by commas. And you can use that to introduce this type of clause, along with who, less commonly with which, um, but it's also okay, and with whose. Um, you can omit, you can even just omit the that if the adjective clause has a different subject than the main clause. So let's look at some examples to illustrate that. The specialist that he recommended was on leave. The specialist he recommended was on leave. Specialist is a different subject than he, all right? The client that she interviewed is in the waiting room. You've got, um, the, here you can omit the that as well. The client that was interviewed is in the waiting room. In this sentence, there is no extra subject so that cannot be omitted. Now, let me go back and talk about that the third sentence, the one that had the commas. Um, 
that was a non-essential clause. Non-essential adjective clauses give extra information about the nouns they modify. They're kind of like a positives in that they are extra information. Um, and this information is not essential for identifying which noun is being talked about. So let's look back at that sentence that we looked at earlier. Um, Dr. Wong, who examined the client, recommended he be admitted immediately. Dr. Wong is clearly identified by name. The fact that he examined the client or the patient is extra information. It doesn't answer the question, which doctor? The which doctor is very clear, it's Dr. Wong. So this clause here is not being used to identify Dr. Wong. It's not essential. So in this case, commas then are used to separate the adjective clause from the main clause. Who for people, which for other nouns, and whose for possessive are used in this type of clause, and that is not used in essential clauses.